Fate, fortune, karma. Many a word and many a tongue to explain that something that's more than just the working of chance. Something that's always there in front of us, yet can vanish like mist on a sunny morn, unless we choose to accept it. Our destiny. Marnie had dreamed her dreams, and now she knew something of their meaning. They'd helped her conquer fear of life and living, of grief and grieving. She lost her mother for a little while, but now she's found her again. And found the book, too. But finding what you seek doesn't mean the journey's over, oh no. There are more triumphs and perils for the chosen one yet. Again, stop wasting time. I gotta get the book to Michael. Why should she have such a problem with it now? She doesn't have the pass key. <laughs> Password, Bruno. Password. Call it what you will. Marnie can't get into the inner sanctum, so we must help her. And why, pray, are you so cooperative all of a sudden? Didn't you know? He's a reformed character. You have no earthly reason to trust me, save one. After 1,100 years, I think, at last, my father does. Which creature shall it be, my dainties? The deceitful wolf, the untrusting snake, and the woolly-minded bear. <laughs> no. The pompous eagle will suit us best. Oh, 
un paps. My charity. <laughs> My dentist. <laughs> yes, Los Contrarios had arisen. The opposites of the shoebox soon. Dark, sightless, identical twins fashioned by Toledo's black magic <laughs> out of spite and hatred. This is your moment, my little chicken. A moment for which I have waited these 1100 years. <laughs> the old fool Scott may have his hapless shoe box, but I have a scontarius. <laughs> <laughs> Make target. Make ready the car. <laughs> oh, great. Who knows what damage you've done, Bedwin? But I didn't mean to. I just heard this voice in my head. Relax, guys. It's just a power blackout from the storm. You think this is an ordinary storm? What do you mean? Los Contrarios. Los what? It means the opposites. Our opposites. One of Toledo's scientific experiments. He created them to seek us out and destroy us. He showed them to me, but they had not yet hatched. Wait, how long have you known about these loss, whatever they're called? Toledo told us of them long ago, but we thought they were just a threat. Great. And he could be here any minute. We didn't need to get the book back to Michael before. We, like, sure do now. Michael? 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 Please help us. We've got the book. It's your destiny, child. Money. Hello? Who's there? say you are, then prove it. What? Come on, Marnie, let me in. I thought we were going to the pictures. How do I know you're not here to hurt me? Oh, yeah, I'm some evil imposter coming to kidnap you, Marnie. Now let me in. Stop messing about. It's the shapeshifter. It's the shapeshifter. Oh, forget it. You're way too weird for me. Who is it, sweetheart? Um, it's nothing, Dad. Just some kids fooling around. I'll deal with it, Marnie.
Flight 11? Power, sir. Come to fix your electric. That was quick. No, Dad, wait! <sighs> what is it, Money? <sighs> you can't let them in. You can't. Don't be daft. They've just come to fix the electricity. <sighs> Listen to me. You can't let them in. Money, come on. Don't be silly. <sighs> Come right up, top floor. After you, take it. Crikey, oh, lummy, oh, blimey, oh, 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 oh it's, it's, it's hopeless. It's hopeless. We can't defeat Los Contrarios. We've got to, Edwin. There's no other way. Wolfgang, didn't you say that they were like copies of you guys? Dark and sightless, but copies nonetheless. Well, then, you guys have got to win, right? I mean, how can a copy be better than the original? <laughs> We must protect the book and the chosen one. Fight to the death if we have to. This is it, my chipmunks. The moment for which you were created. The moment for which you were created. As good a description of destiny as I can think of. But whose destiny would prove the most perilous? The duplicitous Toledo? The ailing Michael Scott? The steadfast Mistress Marnie? No. Destiny was to deal its fickle hand to another. Sir, fourth power at your service. No job too big or too small. In and out, like a rat of a drain pipe, you wouldn't know we'd been here at all. <laughs> what exactly is the problem? We're here to sort out a small power problem. Wolfgang, stay here. Guard the book. You guys, come on. How long will this take? Well, that depends on the resistance we encounter. Electrical resistance, you understand. Resistance to the flow of power can be very dangerous. But not to worry. We pride ourselves on making small problems go away before they grow up to become a major pain in the posterior. Well, the fuse box is in there, so if you'd like to take a look at that... Enough of this, Sharad. <laughs> Big word, me. Stop! What have you done? Dad! Dad! Run! Should I slit his throat or boil his entrails? What say you, McTaggart? Um, I say that um, Mr. McBride is what we call a, a non combatant. Your blissful harmony. What a cute joke. I am Juan Roberto Montoya de Toledo, master of the secret sect of the assassins, shifter of shapes, and scholar of the necromantic arts. And you have something I desire. I desire con mucho pasión. But I'm the chosen one. Only my hands can touch the book. And only your hands can give me the book now. No! <laughs> oh, fear not, girl child. I have my little darlings to help me.
Come along, my pups. Say hello to the girl child. <laughs> Go on, my dainties. Find them. Little black wolfie. You stay with me. Watch out! Watch out! McTaggart! Bring me the girl child! Why must I have to do everything myself? So what do I do now? Trust in the power that is in you, Marnie. Where is the book, girl child? Don't be cold. You know I can make you tell me. You can't. You won't. Maybe the girl doesn't have it after all, sir. Will! Someone, please tell me. Where is the book? I'll tell you. If you keep your promise to make me human again. Fine. Someone has come to their senses. Make you human again. Oh. <gasps> you really think I'd be 
been played for a fool by the misbegotten son of a foolish wizard. <laughs> Lady Whitlashy. I'll count to ten. Or perhaps eleven. Give me the book, or little Wolfie becomes no. fire. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Come to your senses. Forget about me. Don't give him the book. Five, six, seven, eight. I mean it. No, no, Marnie, you mustn't. <laughs> don't you? You don't realize what you're doing. One, two, no. three. Child, sweet, sweet child. Four, you know not. Five. What you do? Six. At least it'll stop you two miserable old wizards from fighting. Over. Fool! You will destroy us all. I will. For now. Where are my pups? My dainties? I will be back. Even if this tree. off. Well, at least the power's back on. Everything okay? Next time on Shoebox Zoo. think your treachery has gone unnoticed. Self-confidence and trust. That's what this quest's about. 